Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Pumbi. And today I have come with a delicious cauliflower recipe. I will start by making a paste. In a blender jar add ginger, a green chilli that is optional, a large chopped tomato. Here is a heaped tablespoon of cashew nuts that I had soaked in hot water for about half an hour. Add the cashew nuts along with a fourth of a cup of water and blend to a smooth paste. If you see your paste is not smooth enough then add a few more tablespoons of water and blend till you get a smooth paste. We are looking for this kind of a situation. Next we will be making a spice paste. In a cup I have added a fourth of a cup of water along with a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Please add less if you want less heat. I also added a teaspoon of sweet paprika for the color. It is totally optional. If you want to avoid the chili heat entirely but still want that red color in your gravy, then please add paprika. But as I said, it is totally optional. I also added a teaspoon of ground coriander and half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Mix and your spice paste is all done. Pot on medium high heat with 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns hot, in goes Mr. Potato. Add a pinch of turmeric powder. A pinch of salt goes in to season the potatoes. Fry the potatoes on medium high heat till they turn golden brown. Some of you must be thinking what if I do not want to add potatoes. Sure you can leave them out but I love the combination of potatoes and cauliflower. The potatoes have turned golden brown so time to take them out into a bowl. In the same oil add the cauliflower along with a pinch of salt and turmeric powder. Fry on high heat till small brown spots appear on the cauliflower. See how they have developed those brown spots on them? When that happens take them out into a bowl. Add two and a half tablespoons of oil in the pot. I will be adding these whole spices, green cardamoms, cloves. Please discard the little seed from the center of the clove. Sometimes those seeds make your dish bitter. One teaspoon of cumin seeds go in. Allow the seeds to crackle to release their flavors. Then if you are a beginner, please switch off your stove or adjust the heat of your stove to the lowest mark and slowly add the spice paste. Please be prepared for a lot of splattering as the spice paste has water in it. But the water plays an important role here. Switch the heat back on to low and stir till the oil is released. My friends please never add dry spice powders directly to hot oil. Some people say bloom the spices but please mix a little water with the spice powders to prevent them from burning. Adding the spice powders directly into hot oil burns them instantly and gives a bitter aftertaste to the curry. Ok the water is all gone, the spice powders are well fried and the oil is being released from the sides. So time for the ginger tomato cashew nut paste to go in. I added about a fourth of a cup of water to my blender jar to rinse out all that precious blender jar goodness. Add about a teaspoon of salt and now on medium low heat stir from time to time till you get a thick consistency. Remember to give a stir quite frequently. Since you've used cashew nuts there will be a tendency of things to settle at the bottom of the pot. And if that happens then things will burn and then your gravy will be tasting burnt and bitter and we are not making a cauliflower curry in burnt and bitter gravy. Now Bumbi what are you trying to do? Well I'm changing spoons and trying my best to scrape off all that remnant goodness. I was unable to scrape the sides of the pot with my wooden spoon. So this spatula is best for scraping the sides of the pot. Now see how those little bubbles of oil are floating on top? That's an indication of the oil being released. If you see the oil not being released then add 2 or 3 more teaspoons of oil and you will see the effect. 
ओके टाइम फॉर मिस्टर पोटैटो टू डाइव इन आई एड इट अबाउट अ कप ऑफ हॉट वाटर व्हेन द ग्रेवी कम्स अप टू अ बॉईल कवर ऑन लो हीट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स After 5 minutes the cauliflower joins the party. The gravy looked too thick to me, so I again added about a third of a cup of hot water. I added a whole green chili which is totally optional. Adding it whole like this won't make the curry hot, but the lovely smell of chili will be infused into the gravy. Next cover on low heat for 8 minutes. Remember to give a stir in between so that nothing sticks to the bottom. 8 minutes done. Mr. Potato still needs some time to get soft and so does the cauliflower. So cover on for 5 minutes or until they become soft. Okay, 5 minutes done. Lift off. The vegetables have become soft, but by soft I do not mean that everything will be falling apart. and we do not want to end up making a mashed up something the vegetables should still have some character to them i did a taste test and felt the need of adding some sweetness so added a teaspoon of sugar and this is just 1 teaspoon of sugar which will not make the curry taste like a dessert it is just to bring in a balance and round up the flavors and my friends you can leave it out if you have any concerns But please do not type in the comment section claiming that I've made a cauliflower dessert because that's what is called as an utter exaggeration. Next I added a fourth of a cup of frozen green peas, my beloved coriander leaves, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder and a teaspoon of my homemade ghee. Ghee is optional but I love the flavor of ghee in this recipe. Discard any of those whole spices if they catch your eyes. because you do not want a whole spice drama at your dinner table. Okay, cover on low heat for a minute and then you have this delicious cauliflower curry that tastes good with rice or roti or anything. Please give me a like if you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.